Hey everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Today we're going to continue our series playing through all the base game maps and we're going to play on the map Kashyyyk. We're going to be playing as the defending team during the Clone Wars. We're going to try to play as the sniper for the whole map and we'll see what we can do from up here with our rifle. Ah oh, shoot, he's got the shield up. What do you guys think of the award rifle, the beam rifle for the with the sniper class. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Yeah, let's jump in here. Try to do a little bit of damage. Stupid droidica. Come on. What the heck just hit us? There's so much shooting in this map. It's insane. I love watching the droids flood across the water, across the way. It's just the sheer amount of troops. I love it when these beam turrets are being made. I used to play as that when we were playing the PS2 versus my brothers. I'd love to jump in that beam turret because it was just, it felt so overpowered a lot of the time. Because you could just jump in it and just kill a ton of droids or a ton of uh, Imperials if you're playing in the Civil War era. It's probably one of the reasons why I like the F IFTX tanks is because they got the beam. Uh, the beam cannon on top of it. Oh, thank you. Now, if this guy would just, uh, you know, make that. Looks like he won't, so that's annoying. My goodness, I'm not hitting anything today. Should we play as Yoda? No, what the heck, let's do it. I'll try to avoid the tanks for the most part, because those will take us out rather quickly. And I'll try to not step on that mine. Or get hit by snipers. My goodness, there's a lot of them shooting us. Let's see if we can get out here, get up here and take them out. Uh, looks like we might die first. That'd be embarrassing. Start off as Yoda and only get like three kills before dying. There we go. Come on. Is anyone gonna spawn here? Oh, where's that guy? Oh, he's up there. I mean. And he's out of the range of force pull. Ah, uh, what the heck. We'll take this and we'll try to get up there and see if maybe... Ah, oh, no, we can't win by command post because they just took that back. Ah, uh, I hate how they do that. You just... You find one point to capture and the AI just captures the other one. When I play as the attacking team, especially when I'm versing other people that are playing with me. I always like to take a vehicle, get back there, capture that home base right away. It makes it so easy to win. Like a little while ago, I was versing uh, my roommate and a friend, and we were losing really bad. Like our team was down by like 40 troops, I think it was. I think it was like 40 to 4. And I had just captured that back command post, and we ended up winning the whole map by capturing all the command posts. Because they were just focused on killing off our troops, and they didn't realize that they only had this command post left, so we just all converged on it and took it out. So, that was fun. When I play with people, it's typically on the Xbox 360 at home. We'll try to not get killed by this back in guard. Oh, we missed. Yeah, normally I play on the Xbox, and it's fun to get back to like the gaming console version of this game rather than on the PC. Because while well, the PC has all the cool mods and stuff, nothing can beat gaming from the comfort of a couch.
It's also a great party game to play. You just have people over, play Battlefront. I think it's a really fun game. Now, I probably like it a lot more than all the people that play it with us, but it's fun. What can I say? I want to apologize for that. The weak spot in this tank is actually this weird little ball thing on the back, which a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that for the longest time until I don't, I don't remember how I actually learned. I think I watched a video and someone mentioned all the critical points on the vehicles. So that was a new thing for me. Oh my goodness, I'm capturing this and they're capturing that. So we're just going to be going back and forth for the rest of this. That is annoying. Should have played as the attacking game. It would have been so much easier. See, we died. Wait, no, we didn't die once as the sniper. We just changed the Yoda, so we technically haven't died yet. I don't understand. We have all this artillery and stuff defending this, yet the attacking team always seems to almost get in every single time. Alright, let's jump up on that wall. this thing take out these tanks. I always shoot so slow. My goodness, let's hit that back. Oh, it's already down. Alright, let's get out of here. Growing up playing this on the PS2, I'd always like to play Kashyyyk just to pretend to be like an actual sniper and actually try to work through the map. Never really worked very well because I was never really good at it, but it was fun nonetheless. Let's take out that droid okay. See, we're winning. It feels like we're winning by so much because I was alive for so long, yet they're in not too bad a position seeing as we only have the one command post left still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about jumping in this, in this armored, ta uh, armored tank droid, and just taking that back command post, because that'll limit their tanks like a whole lot. No, let's not play droid this time. Yeah, because this will limit the amount of tanks that they can have, which is their only push in this map, really. I always hate it when you get a droid, droid or something stuck right in front of you. You just can't shoot it. Come on. Finally, there we go. Out of all the tanks, that tank is probably my least favorite, and I did not see that coming, so let's try something else. No, let's not play Zyoda. Clone Commander, Jet Trooper, Engineer, Sharpshooter, Heavy Trooper, let's just go normal Clone Trooper. And of course we spawn way back here, and it looks like they're catching up with reinforcements. I don't know why, it just seems like this map, there's not as much going on as I remember it being. Maybe it's just because I'm so far away from the action half the time. Come on. Yeah, the Droidicos don't actually have that much health. Here we go. Actually, let's get in this, one of the staffs. I always like getting like the speeder bikes and stuff and pretending... Yeah, you're almost in the speeder bike chase on the Endor map. But it was always so hard to get a speeder bike, it seemed like, because you could never get it before someone took it off, and then finally, when someone took it, they crashed it into a tree, and then it blew up, and then, then you're out of speeder bike. So that's no fun. Once we get this command post, we should be able to have uh, our tanks that spawn in. Oh, come on! That's my ride. Son of a gun. That sure is annoying. Alright, their stuff will stop spawning now. Now it's destroyed, or starting to be destroyed, and we'll get our tanks in this game. You stand right here, can't hit you. Let's try to get a grenade on the back of that thing. Yeah, we don't have enough grenades to take that thing out. 
Let's see, is there uh, ammunition droid here? Yes, there is. See, now that's a shot. Come on. Slowly taking this thing out. That one should do it, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright. There's the bark speeders. Now, instead of getting in a tank, I think we're going to get one of these speeders. Let's see if we can't be useful with this thing. Odds are we're going to get killed really quick. And, of course, taken out by a tank. And they already have control of that command post. This map just this match just feels so weird. It's just not going the way I thought it would in any means. Felt like there'd be a lot more AI troops running around. Doesn't seem like I've been seeing whole lots of them at the same time. Felt like I would die a lot less. Thought the map would last a lot. Or not quite nearly as long. My goodness. Seems like almost every time I've died this map I've been taken on by a rocket or two. Alright, beam cannon. There's only 20 left, so maybe we'll just finish this off in the beam cannon. Because these things are awesome. Because even if you miss, you just move to the left a little bit and you still take them out. Now that's how it's done. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I love that. Alright, let's get, see, is this other one made? Dang it, it's not. Oh, we should have been an engineer. Dang it. That makes me angry. Alright, well, they only have 11 left, so I think we'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching, everyone, and come back tomorrow as we play on the Mustafar map.